Okay, and then we're going to put the notes for 7-4 two-way tables. Um, there's going to be some crazy uh, terms to start with, but ultimately a lot of these uh, terms here are kind of useless, and this is ultimately just probability stuff with a table giving you all the numbers. Um, but I'm going to read these uh, main vocabulary, joint relative frequencies, marginal relative frequencies, conditional relative frequency. Again, the vocabulary is not going to be that important. We're just going to fill in. Um, these charts here. But basically joint relative frequency is basically converts numbers and values into percents and that's going to be one of the first things they're going to ask you to do, make a table turning things into percentage. Um, marginal relative frequency is basically now find the totals of the percentages and condition relative frequency is really just do the problem now, whatever uh, probability problem they're asking. So a lot of this is already filled out for you. Sociologists collected data on the types of pets in 100 random, randomly selected households and have summarized the results in this table. So there's people who own cats, yes, no. People who own a dog, yes, no. So there's people that own both a cat and a dog. There's people that don't only own one but not the other. And then there's people that don't own anything. The thing about this particular chart is there's exactly 100 people involved. The first thing they're going to ask you is to make a joint relative frequency, which is basically saying convert these raw data numbers into percentages. And the way you would do that is simply take, like if it's a yes, yes, take this number divided by the total. Well, the total happens to be 100. So 15 divided by 100 is 0.15. Now they did the work for you. 24 divided by 100 is 0.24. So it just basically matches exactly what you see here. But if it was 150 people, that were randomly selected, you'd have to, you know, take 18 divided by 150. But again, this is out of 100 people. So what we just did here is joint relative frequency, just turn these raw data into numbers. So by dividing by the total. So again, how did I get this number? I just took the 24 raw data divided by the total, which is 100. Next, they're going to ask you to make a marginal relative frequency, which is basically total up the percentages. Uh, and so you have some yeses and nos, and if you just add this 33% yeses on cats and 67 nos, it should add up to 1%. Now, obviously, well, not that, not this way. Sometimes it might round where it doesn't hit exactly one, where it might show up 99 point something, but rounding it should add up to one 100%. Now that is called marginal relative frequency, where you just now you just take these converted percentages, add them up. Get your totals and finally just the one problem that's actually a problem here we're just going to use these charts today and figure out the probability of something occurring if you are given that a household has a dog so that's a conditional we already know you are a dog owner so we're really looking at this group right here what is the probability that that household also has a cat so there's your yes yes so it's going to be 0.15 divided by now again, you are in this condition where we already have a dog. So it's in this little realm here. The total is 0.39. Okay, you don't take this total of all 100 people who that were pulled. This is approximately 38.5%. Just divide the two fractions. Okay, so we're just going to be filling in raw data, turn it into percentages, adding the percentages, and then using the table the tables to solve any type of probability problem.